Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I'm your host Jornario and today it is another how to complete this event. This time it is the Snowfest of 2018 which will be here from December 19th all the way to the 1st of January, or 2 weeks for short. Like always before I start talking about the step, there are some changes in the hub including the, a big Christmas tree next to the Luxian spawn, there you will find the Snowfest crafting table, but do not worry you won't use the crafting table for this event. With that being said, the minimum requirement to complete this event is being able to enter Neon City Portal, which is Uber 3 or 550 power for short. But this event is mostly permafrost team except that one step that you need to go to the Neon City. Anyways, let's get started with step 1. Step 1. You have to complete 5 present dungeons. Present dungeons are a new 1 star dungeon that will appear in any biome except I would assume the Geo top side for those who are playing on the PC. You have to let me know on that one hashtag console player. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of present but any present will do. And if you want to go to the boss as fast as possible you have to bomb at least 4 times downwards and going through the pool of lava. Completing this step will grant you 1 titan soul. Again. 1 Titan Soul. Like. Are you serious? 1 Titan Soul is nothing, but whatever. Step 2. You have to open 20 boxes. It can be any type of box, so if you have 20 boxes, then open them. And I would suggest to save 20 more boxes since there's a step that wants you to open 20 more. So at least save 40 boxes for this event. Anyways, completing this step will grant you 3 gem booster boxes, which is good since getting 20 boxes is really easy. Step 3. You have to collect 100 glacier shards. Glacier shards are this ore that you will find in the permafrost biome only. They are somewhat common inside the permafrost, so yeah. Also, you can buy them from the marketplace if you are wondering. I got no footage of me buying them because I forgot to check if that worked, but thankfully I was told that this does work as you're seeing on screen. And I would also assume that it works on trade posts if you're trading with another player. Anyways, collecting 100 glacier shots will grant you one lunar soul, which is actually pretty good for something that you can buy for less than 10,000 flux. Step 4. Craft a shard of pure ice. So go back to the hub, or if you have a wheel of season in either your cornerstone or club world, go to the winter tab and you will craft the shard of pure ice which is the second to last on the winter crafting table. It will cost 100 glacier shards so yeah the 100 glacier shard that you got from last step you will use it for this step alone. Also you can craft multiple of them in case you were wondering but if you do craft multiple by accident you can look collect them back for 100 glacier shard each. Anyways completing this step will grant you 20 dragon coins which is pretty much the easiest 20 dragon coins that you will get. Step 5 and this step is the one that you have to go to the Neon City. You have to defeat a punch bot boss in the Neon City. This boss only spawns inside the Neon City, so if you're in the Luminopolis sub biome, you will not find this enemy. And this enemy is the weird refrigerated boss that you will find in some 1 star dungeons and in some 3 star dungeons as well. And I do not know if the 3 star version of this boss will work, so you have to check it out. And one more thing. this is what happens if you're trying to look for footage and trying to speed farm the event at the same time. Yeah, you killed the boss using a bomb. <laughs> Rip. So yeah, I had to look for another one for this video. Anyways, completing this step will grant you 25 diamond dragonites, which is very well worth it for the trouble that it takes to find one of these boss. Step 6. You have to defeat 30 horn rum fosses. First of all, the name. Like, why? Second. Let's continue. So the horn run fuzzes are the black colored yetis that you will find in the wild inside the, the permafrost biome. These enemies are very commonly found so I don't think you will have a lot of trouble finding them. So far from what I've killed I haven't gotten anything from them besides the normal claim. The reason I say that is because there's a, a candy barbarian costume that is pretty much this mob which is called the Fridge Fiend. So I wouldn't be surprised if they draw at least the hat since it's possible to get the hats before the costume. I've had the hat for way longer than the custom, just to let you know. Anyways, ramble aside, completing this step will grant you the Tumbling Present Ally, which is this ally right here. It's a present box that jumps around when you dance. Fun times. 
Anyways, this ally will grant you 10 mastery points and this ally's stats are 30 magic fight and this is a 5 power rank ally. Which, 30 magic fight is alright, but it's a low power rank ally. Step 7. Oh boy. <laughs> Everyone's gonna hate this step because I sure did. You have to defeat 50 one star bosses. And this time it is only one star dungeons. So 3 star dungeons will not count not even one star bosses inside the 3 star dungeon. So this is exclusively 1 star dungeons. So this will take a while to do, be patient because you're almost done. Anyways, completing this step will grant you 1 builder superior focus, which is very nice since those things are very expensive to get. And the last step, step 8, you have to open 20 more boxes. So yeah, this is why I said in the second step that you have to save at least 20 more boxes, since you will need them for this step. Again. Any box will do. Completing this step will finish the event and you will get Frobius, the Snow Steed mount. Which I really do like this mount. In my opinion, it's one of the best steed type mounts in the game as far as looks are concerned. Anyways, this mount will grant you 50 master points and you are done with this event. Also, you might be wondering what are those Sub Zero snowflakes that you will get when you complete a present dungeon and also the 3 star Christmas tree dungeon that is also new with this event. Those items are used for all sorts of crafting inside the Snowfest crafting table that you find in the hub. So check it out, you might have enough to craft at least something since most of the items are pretty cheap as far as snowflakes are concerned. Also, one more thing, you might find mimic type bosses when you complete a dungeon. I don't know if it is a present dungeon, Christmas tree dungeon, or any dungeon, since I haven't found at least even one mimic boss. <laughs> Hashtag my RNG. As far as I know, they appear randomly when you complete a dungeon. It'll spawn instead of a normal chest. And also from present dungeon, you will get new boxes that will have all sorts of new tradable mounts. And I would assume there's no fest recipe as well. So you can farm these present dungeons in order to get them. I cannot show you any of the mounts since I'm missing most of them and I don't know as of right now which are all of the mounts that you can get from these boxes. Still, this event took me 50 minutes to complete and I was one of the first people on Xbox to complete this event. Hashtag flexing a lot. <laughs> and like always, I was using a max movement speed Neon Ninja and one more thing just to let you know that I'm playing on Xbox so I do not have crystal gear. Anyways, thank you for watching, let me know what you think of this event. I think it's an alright event, but those 15 dungeons is like, why? And I know for a fact that everyone's going to hate that step. <laughs> yeah. Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting and good luck on this event. See ya. One Titan Soul. Again, one Titan Soul. Like. Bruh. That time was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was so perfect.